questions to think about or quotes to think about rather I love these quotes don't fear for the future God is already there <laughs> Billy Graham said I've read the last page of the Bible and everything works out good in the end <laughs> amen and, you know, I guess the bottom line is if you just want to think, you know, I'm just going to have problems all my life and I don't know if they'll ever go away. The good news is, is someday you're going to be in heaven and you're going to live with him for eternity. So we'd all like for all of our problems to go away. But, you know, if they don't, we still got a pretty good future looking at us. Stop worrying about what can go wrong and get excited about what can go right. <laughs> Worry doesn't empty tomorrow of its troubles, but it empties today of its strength. If you think too much, you'll create a problem that was never there to start with. <laughs> I really like that. I think I'll say that again. If you think too much, you'll create a problem that was never there to start with. If you fill your head with worries, there won't be room for anything else. I like this. When you worry, you use your imagination to create something that you don't want. Hmm. Okay. Reasons not to worry. <laughs> First of all, it's totally useless. Worrying about a problem never changes it. All it does is make you miserable while you wait. Worry is more exhausting than a full day's work. I mean, a full day is hard work. You can spend a whole day worrying and being stressed out over problems, trying to figure out what you should do, and especially if you add a lot of conversation to that, like talking about it, talking about it, talking about it. I mean, you can just be totally wiped out and exhausted at the end of a day, and all that time that you put in did no good at all. Worry is disease, D-I-S dash E-A-S-E, but it can create disease. <laughs> Same word, just without the hyphenation. <laughs> Worry steals our joy. Worry is the opposite of trusting God. Your time is too important to waste it worrying. And, you may not like this one, Romans 14, 23, it's sin. Well, I, I, where does the Bible say that worry is sin? Well, it says that whatever is not of faith is sin. So unless you can tell me that you're worrying by faith, <laughs> then I think we might have to change our tune just a little bit. You know, I've thought and thought as a Bible teacher, because I know what, you know, I deal with, with making an attempt not to worry when I have problems, and so... I want to be sure that I tell people something that's going to work in their lives. So sometimes when you teach people, you say, don't worry, don't worry, you almost feel like <laughs> you're teaching them something useless. So I have looked for ways to tell people why they shouldn't worry. And I think one of the things that has really helped me, and I hope it helps you, is just just remember, it just doesn't fix anything. I mean, it just does not solve anything at all. And there really is a certain amount of pride involved in it because it really is us thinking that we can solve our own problems. Now, I'm not saying that you don't think about the things going on in your life. I believe that we need to ponder things before the Lord. There's a difference in pondering something before the Lord and actually worrying about it. Don't let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in Him. Believe that when you pray, your answer is on the way. When I pray, my answer is on the way. And I love this scripture, Mark eleven twenty four. 24. For this reason I'm telling you, now listen to this, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that it is granted to you and you will get it. First you believe, then you receive. And I don't know. I mean, it would be nice if I only had to believe for five minutes and then I'd receive. Maybe I could handle that. But what if you have to be steadfast for five years or ten years? 
Boy, that's when it gets challenging. When you're believing God and you can clearly see the promise in the word. But it's just not happening for you yet. That's when we have to remember that the Bible says we inherit the promises of God by faith and patience. Not just faith. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.